Today I'm going to give an example. If you have a custom hero with a custom model and custom abilities in a Warcraft 3 custom map, how in the current Reforged beta that's, that's currently available to some players, you could get that hero to work in the Reforged beta with the same model, same abilities. Um, in general, this has been pretty hard to do, and the hope would be that it will become more easy to do um, in the future. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and give a test of this hero so you can see what am I talking about, what are the kinds of abilities, we're on the 131 client, this is not Reforged. Uh, we're going to talk about what are the kinds of abilities that we would want to be able to copy into Reforged from our custom app. Care for a cocktail. So this is Don't my custom goat hero, basically. And the abilities are all silly, uh, but basically he's got a jump got ability that just teleports him to a target location. It's based off of Blink, but it doesn't have any special artifacts. Don't He's got an ability me. similar to Frenzy, um, shake that, right up. that that I'll you know it's down. like self-affecting bloodlust. Uh, he's got Goat Cannon, which is a shape-shifting ability that takes I'll him to that right up. his alternate form. And in I'll his alternate form, up. he's got a little cannon that'll fire little like spinning custom me. projectiles. Um, so we've got that, and then. Uh, you got As his ultimate skill, he has the stuff. Antler of Death. Now, the Antler of you Death is a really lazy skill. It's basically me. just Finger of Death. I'll get that um, mixed up. But, of course, it's, it's called Don't Antler of me. Death, so it's better. So, seeing that these are the custom skills of our hero, uh, what we want to now try to do is support those skills on Warcraft Reforged. Now, in order to do that, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your map. And I'm going to copy my map from my Warcraft 3 folder to my Warcraft 3 beta folder. So, uh, basically, that's just going to provide easy access to the map for uh, the beta. So here I have the Reforged beta world editor. So we're now going into Reforged. We're going to talk about what happens when you do that. Um, so first off, we could talk about what is the vanilla experience of attempting to run this hero on Reforged. Now as you'll see, um, I think a lot of people have seen, this does not immediately work. So let's check it out in game. Let's see, what do we expect to have happen in this case? What do you, what do you, you know, what is the thing that we predict it's going to look like? Um, and what are we going to do about it? So the first thing is, if you notice, we go over here to my hero, you can't see him. He, his model doesn't load, yeah, just like him. the world editor. And it goes beyond that. It loads the icons of the hero skills of the goblin alchemist because the original underlying yeah. unit type of this hero is the Goblin Alchemist, right? So it says Healing Spray, Acid Bomb, Chemical Rage, and Transmute. And yet the Healing Spray up. teleports the character. Um, the you Acid Bomb it. provides the Frenzy I'm buff. I mean, you can right tell up. that they're kind of what they were originally going to be. The chemical Rage actually turns him into an Alchemist, up. but he still has Attack Ground. And then his Transmute thing, um, which says Transmute, but it notes that the hotkey is F for Finger of Death. Um, Don't rush me. allows us to stuff. actually go back over you here uh, to I'll one of these creep right camps up. and we should be able to use Don't transmute on it and you'll see that, that uh, it immediately dies it. so Don't it's still me. being hit by finger of death it just doesn't really we don't really know that I'll we can't really right tell up. so the behavior is there but the UI of the Don't abilities is wrong so we got two things to fix right the first thing to fix is actually the model file of the character and in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this imported file, units, creeps, hero, goat, hero, goat. And we're going to export my imported file into a folder. I'll just call it the tutorial video folder. So this is my hero, goat model. And basically what you're going to do is just go into this folder, go to your model file that you saved, click open on it. It'll load up in Red Order Model Studio, this is my program, and just do scripts, assign format version 900. This will assign it the V900 settings for the new Reforged client. And then just save it as the assigned V900. Import that in your map. And then if you save your map, and you actually go in the object editor to your goat, um, or your hero, you know, whatever that might be, you'll notice the model file doesn't load. But if you load the V900 one, it does load, because now it's been assigned the correct versioning for Reforged. Uh, which just basically fixes a bug in the model parser so that it's like legal for it to load. So you do that, and then the other thing you want to do is your hero abilities. You notice we have the abilities list, but the icons list is wrong. So just export your unit settings to um, just like an object data folder. 
and let's call it hero goat.w3u, right? So like if we look in that same folder again, it's created hero goat.w3u file. Uh, then just load up the Redera object editor, which I coded to be a replica of the object editor. But in the Redera object editor, um, we have, you'll know, if we actually go to our hero here, oh, uh, it's just loading there. If we go to our hero, you have abilities hero and abilities hero skin. And you can just copy your abilities hero and just paste them into your abilities hero skin setting. And then make sure you do this for like both versions um, so that, you know, that way you're just totally sure uh, that that'll work. Then I also noticed when the guy morphed into his alternate form, he used the skin of the alchemist. So I don't actually think that it even works, but I was trying to make this that we can set um, NGO2, the raw code. Like if I do control D, I think it lags a little bit here. There's a bit of a loading time on control D. Um, but it's something about the new data. When control D finishes loading, you'll note that the, the ID here is NGO2 of uh, this alternate space goat. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of probably like a cache miss or something. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in display as raw data mode. Um, NGO2 is the raw code of this guy, and that's his skinnable ID. And we're going to set it to NGOA for, you know. It's so basically just the raw code of whatever that unit is. We're going to set his skin raw code to be that same raw code. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually work, and he's still going to become an alchemist in his alternate form. Uh, but I know that the hero ability skin list fixes the, the UI of the hero abilities. So then I hit Control D again, which of course actually has a humongous lag spike that didn't used to be there. I don't know why that is. It's something about the reforged data. Um, but once that finishes, we're just going to save. It says, OK, friend, we're going to export. And we're going to call this hero goat correct skin. So basically, we've changed the hero skin list with this alternative program, um, which allows us to do that. Now, the downside is if you go in the object editor and you actually import the unit settings, and you import the correct skin version of your goat character, um, this still doesn't work because the abilities hero skin setting doesn't actually exist. I made that up. And so in order for it to work, we have to actually go in the import manager and also import from this hacks folder the unit metadata file, which basically defines what fields exist that you can modify on a unit. And this is going to actually change when the game is running. Um, how it loads the unit data. So we're hacking this, the unit data to not only include a specification for the hero ability skin list, but also we are redefining in the game information that that specification has meaning and that it actually modifies the actual setting that it should. So having done so, then when we test the map, uh, you'll notice a really interesting thing happens. And that is that now, not only does the hero have specific data for its hero ability skin list, but we basically modded the hero ability skin list uh, is, as to be a setting that we could actually specify. So those two in combination uh, result in our you. character actually having the icons corresponding to the skin of Don't the, like, me. basically the original <laughs> icons of those abilities, like you would have wanted them to be. And you can actually level those up and, and use them. Although, uh, when I was testing up. before this video, I think it's Don't true that even me. after you do this, morphing skills, yeah, yeah morphing skills would up. still load the skin of the, uh, so I, don't, I don't really know, something broken. So it still becomes an alchemist. Uh, although he I'm does have his ranged right attack. Up. I mean, it's still behaviorally the same. But obviously the morphing skill just somehow glitches the skin system. But me. other than that, uh, the hero is pretty much working, and it's you working on Reforged. Uh, which is definitely a pretty Don't nice thing me. to have, right? So Don't this is kind of what I know how to do right now. Hopefully all of this will become you totally unnecessary. Uh, but for people who want to do this, I could I'll probably post up. my code after this video. I haven't really me. posted it yet. Uh, but as you can see, it does kind of work. So that's, that's currently where we're at with that.